Okay, sir. They shouldn't be bothering you anymore. You and your uh, five foot two self. And uh, this young lady over here, she can uh, work in peace. And this young lady right over here, that looks like Rihanna, she can work in peace as well. All right, sir. You have a good day. Hey everybody, Benzo here. Welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR Grand Theft Auto 5. We're going to be out on patrol again near Del Perro and Metro Los Santos. And we just got a call for some public disturbance we got to take care of. I think you guys are going to like today's episode. And uh, we'll, we'll be going code 2. So we got a uh, public disturbance of a... Uh, Possibly like a like a party going on, a lot of uh, loud noises and people uh, basically disturbing the peace, if you will. So we're gonna go ahead and make our way over to the public disturbance call, and uh, we'll see how things go. Hope everybody's been doing well. Make sure you drop a like if you don't mind before you leave the uh, actual channel. Yeah, stick around to this uh, public disturbance. I think you're gonna want to see this. We're gonna we're gonna go around here. I know the average attention span of most YouTubers are about three minutes, so we'll get there. Okay, we're just about there. Once again, this is a public disturbance called in by uh, one of the civilians out here. Said that uh, somebody has been making uh, a lot of racket out here, a lot of noise. So we're going to roll up on the scene and see what's going on. Okay, I'm hearing a lot of a lot of noises and stuff coming from the side of the fence over here. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on. What we do need to do is make sure we're going to... Let's go ahead and grab a vest from the back just in case. Just in case. Alright, let's go see what's going on. It's like somebody's property. And uh, see the, the complainant may be back over here. Looks like they're having a party in the back. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Hello. Do we have a problem here? Hello. Hey. How's it going, guys? Am I invited to the party? What's going on, guys? Hey. Just checking things out and making sure things are legit around here. You know, this is uh, pretty normal. I mean, we're out here in the snow, and you've got a couple of working women. So, just saying. All right, just kind of walk around a little bit. She basically said there, there's these guys that are at the party, and they won't leave. That's what she said. It may have been the, the man over there. Okay, these guys look okay. What the hell is going on here, guys? Okay, I'm... Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh! You gotta put those hands up there, sir. Okay, you're under arrest. Okay, 
get drunk. Okay, you are under arrest, sir, sir. No doubt. You sit down. Sit down. Way insane. It's normal to spot a girlfriend. Okay. Sir. I concur. Hold on. I don't want to do that. Let's do this. Sir, you were asked to leave. Okay. Hope you're on that way. Hope that's what you're doing right now. But I uh, want you to hang around for a little bit. Stay at the party just for a sec. I want to see what's going on. His name is Vernie Montgomery. Hey, you come back this way with me. Hey, you and your buddy, uh... Yeah, you are going to be leaving the party in just a moment. You ever feel like you wasted your whole life? Okay, you have a seat. Seriously. I'm going to round all these guys up. The ones that don't look like they belong here. Like this guy right here. I mean, what are you doing, man? Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Old man, get down. Get down. Get down. This is police work, guys. So, you know. Alright. So, these look like they don't belong here. It's kind of like that game. Spot the uh, spot the difference. Okay, we got, uh, you know, I'm going to have to discriminate a little bit, right? Got the profile. And this guy over here doesn't look like he belongs. What are you doing? What are you? You're going to what? Is that what he said? And... What would that tattoo say in your chest? What would Jesus do? I don't think he would uh, F my dead bleeding body there, sir. Just saying. Got a lot of a lot of people here that don't really belong. I'm gonna handle every single one of these my calls myself. Okay, sir. Hey, just come on down. What are you thinking about doing? What are you doing, man? Get down. Hey, get down. Get down. Don't look like a bunch of rednecks out here. I wonder why. Oh my gosh, these guys, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look every one of them up. I'm gonna round every one of these guys up. Are you saying I, I already know? All right, you sit down. Nothing beats a bath and a good look. Totem. Okay, let me see if. Oh, there we go. We got another one out here. How are you people doing? They look like they're doing fine. Then you got this guy. He's drinking a big old Budweiser, forty ounce. What are you doing, man? Oh, yeah. Drop that right there. Oh, great. <laughs> He's completely nude down below. <laughs> oh, shit, man. You get over here. Do I have to frisk you? That's disgusting. I'm going to reload. I'm going to run up every one of your damn masses. We're going to call for a bunch of transports. This will be Benzo's new record. All these transports. You sit down. You and your ball sack sit down. We should totally get drunk together. Oh, I'm sorry, but Okay, we got one more up here. Hey. Whoa! You some bitch. Uh uh. Get down. He had a damn taser on him. Get down. I saw you point that at me. Get down. Get down. Damn hippie. Just never leave your guard down. His name is Dick Hobbs. How funny. Okay. See anybody else in the water? Or okay, look at all these damn rednecks. Okay, you sit over here. I should be doing period. Not this reality show Okay. You're right. All these rednecks right here. 
Unwanted Guest. That's going to be the name of this uh, episode. Hello, guys. Okay, one second here. Okay, now we're going to round up all these guys here. And first of all, I want to check all their IDs. Alright guys, stand up please. This is hilarious. Okay, everybody stand up. Stand up, sir. 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 Okay. And, uh, you sit down for a second. And, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to look all these guys up. Probably not. That's what I'm thinking. So, let's do this. Let's call for a multi-transport. Okay, we got a lot of backup coming. Okay, here they come. Got a lot of backup coming. Seriously. All right, guys, you sit down now. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Everybody, sit back down. Duck, duck, goose. Duck, duck, goose. Okay, all of y'all are, uh, all of you guys are going to jail. Every one of you. Every single one of you. Seriously. Okay, I'm going to go back to the uh, main complainant over here. And let him know. Okay, sir. They shouldn't be bothering you anymore. You and your, uh, five foot two self. And uh, this young lady right over here, she can uh, work in peace. And this young lady right over here, that looks like Rihanna, she can work in peace as well. All right, sir. You have a good day. Oh, they all disappeared. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right. That is from a call out called Rednecks. I uh, noticed we've never done that before, so... Anyway, let's go ahead and get back on patrol. Yeah, we got our hat knocked off the first freaking 30 seconds of the episode. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get back on patrol here. Attention all units. We have in uh, Rockford Hill. Okay, we just got a uh, phone call from dispatch that we have some uh, sexual harassment going on. So we're going to pop up down here. Alright, so we get, like, once again, we got a sexual harassment call. We got a report of a half naked man over here chasing some woman down the street. Only in Los Santos, right? Okay, we'll see if we can find what's going on up here. Once again, it's uh, some man supposed to be chasing a woman out here. And uh, I think the reports just said that they were down here. Let's check this out and see. Okay, I think I see them. She's saying this creep won't leave me alone. Hey, you were alone, man. Oh, Jesus! Here, you want to tackle? Every you time. You want to tackle? Ugh. <laughs> Hello there. All right, get out, man. Man, you're a nasty ass again. Look at him. Get down. All right, sir, you're being detained. Oh my goodness, his name is. Silas Bready Production? What the hell? Okay. His name is Silas Bready Product. 
That's his name right there. He's got a suspended license, no warrants. But, uh, he's going to go back over here with me. Okay, so you're being uh, put under arrest here for sexual harassment and uh, possible sexual assault if she decides to put charges against you. Okay, why don't you go ahead and get in my vehicle, please? Step in there. Get in there, please. Alright. Then we'll go ahead and take uh, Mr. Silas Breedy produ product here. That's his name. That's funny. We'll take him straight to jail. And the jail's just right around the corner here. Okay, and uh, once again, guys, always re always welcome any kind of comment down below. I always respond to you guys, as you know. And I feel that that's pretty important to always communicate with the viewers. And I really appreciate you guys. I really mean that because, uh, you know, a year ago, you know, around this time, I think I had maybe a couple hundred subscribers. And uh, now I've got people on here um, actually making... Get over here, man. I've got uh, some viewers actually making videos for me. Uh, you know, doing real cool stuff for me. I really appreciate that, guys. So, uh, shout out goes to Fat Mac. And uh, he's been doing some LSPDFR videos. So, shout out goes out to him. And shout out goes to Sony. Appreciate him. He did something nice for me the other day. I appreciate that, man. And like I said, uh, it's kind of cool of you guys to come and visit the channel and stuff like that. And I never would have thought that this channel would have gotten this big, to be honest. Started, started this channel off as a hobby. And it still is a hobby, you know. Uh, I had to work full time, so. But I uh, always appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. But I'm also pleased to announce we'll be bringing in the Coast Guard mod as long as with the Fire and Rescue mod. I'll be bringing that into the channel as well. And I look forward to doing that for you guys. I think most of you know by now that I am a licensed paramedic in real life. And let's see, we got a, uh, we got a vehicle right here. It seems to be weaving a little bit. I don't know if they're intoxicated or... What the hell has happened, man? It sounds like somebody just got hit. Okay, we got a vehicle right here that seems to be weaving a lot. Can't tell if he's on his cell phone. Whoa, man. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pull him over. Ah, oh, you just brake checked me, didn't you? You son of a bitch. Here, eat my loud horn, man. You like that horn? I wanted to get a siren that had a, a very loud, annoying horn. And I did that on purpose. Okay, we're going to come up here and we're just going to see what's going on with this guy. Okay, dispatch. 321 dispatch. We are right next to the IAA building and the FIB building on Power Street. I need to get a uh, plate check on a Seminole. It's going to be Ocean 5 Lincoln Young 5381. 10 copy. Target license plate 05 Lincoln Young Sam 381. No 1099. Need to get some glasses. That looked like a notion to me instead of a zero. Okay, let me talk to this uh, person here. My name is Benzo with LSPD. I noticed that you were weaving all over the road back there, and it's awfully snowy out here. Were you talking on your cell phone? Have you had anything to drink tonight? Or today, rather? Let's see your ID, please. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Your name is Mariel Erickson. Okay, one moment. Let me check her out. Let 
Okay, she looks pretty good. Uh, Muriel, she has uh, license valid, no active warrants. So uh, I do want to do a few tests on her, though. Okay, Miss Erickson, if you'll do me a favor. Like I said, I observed you uh, weaving all over the road back there. She'll blow into his breathalyzer for me. Okay, this is what she's saying. The person failed to provide a valid breath uh, sample. She's not complying. She uh, does not want to give me a, uh, a breath sample, so she has that right. So, uh, and also have this right as well. Okay, ma'am, you'll go ahead and step out of that vehicle, please. And go ahead and put your hands behind your back. You're being detained and you are being put under arrest. And uh, we will take you to the uh, jail first. And then they'll probably take you to the uh, medical center where they'll actually get a blood sample. And uh, just because she's being a bitch, I'm going to go ahead and just search her vehicle too. And we'll violate her rights a little bit more. We're just going to check one spot. Okay. And then also, uh, let me inform her real fast. Miss Erickson, do you enjoy that vehicle you're driving? Well, guess what? I'm going to go ahead and have it repossessed. Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. All right. So we're going to go ahead and call her insurance company, and we'll call the local um, agency. We'll have it uh, actual repossessed. We'll seize it. We, we won't just tow it away. We'll actually repossess it. Okay, we're all going to wait here for a second. And then they're going to come over here and uh, take this vehicle. We'll let them come over here and take it. Here he is. Oh, I'm good. Miss Erickson's not. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, take her over to the jail, and we'll get her booked in. And uh, we'll see if we can, she'll provide a breathalyzing sample then. But uh, they, they do have a right to refuse, but it's pretty much an admission of guilt if they uh, refuse to do that because it's not going to hold up in a court of law. Because I had every right to uh, have it on dash cam. I have every right to ask for that breathalyzer. And she's refusing me, so. Alright, and then we'll uh, take her over to the jail. Are you going to go, man? Just gonna stay there. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and get her booked into the system. Okay, and then uh, Miss Erickson for my favorite part. Get out of there! There's no cameras over here, is there? Making sure. Right, get over here. Follow me. Here, you come with me. All right, Miss Erickson. We're gonna get that uh, sample from you one way or another. If we have to, we'll put a Foley catheter in you. If y'all don't know what a Foley catheter is, go look that up. Foley. F O L E Y. Foley catheter. The C. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> he looks so dejected in there. Okay, and then uh, we'll let somebody else handle that, and they're going to try to get a breathalyzer from her. And like I said, she has every right to decline that. But it's pretty much an admission of guilt, you know, because that'll, that'll be taken to court against her. That she refused. Uh, like I said, you can refuse it all day long, but uh, they can either also take you to the 
medical, uh, you know, the actual ER, and then they can actually have uh, your blood drawn as well. But I'll tell you about my stories. Uh, like I said, I'm planning on doing some vlogs soon, and I'll tell you about my stories that happened in the emergency room uh, with the uh, police officers bringing in, you know, drunk suspects and things like that, and my dealings with them, you know, trying to get their blood and all that stuff. You know, and uh, sometimes they're very combative, and sometimes they're willing to do it, sometimes they're not willing to do it, sometimes they're handcuffed to the bed, actual gurney, sometimes they're not. <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll share some uh, cool vlogs with you guys. Um, look for that in probably the next couple of weeks. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and finish our episode right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you drop a like before you leave, and if you're brand new to the channel, think about subscribing, guys. I upload very often. Take care, guys, and we'll see you next time on the next patrol.